Hello and welcome to another episode of Action Talk. This time it's all about big wall climbing. Now, to make it clear, I myself, I don't have any experience in big wall climbing at all. So um, that's why I'm meeting up with Yannick Glotthoff and he's going to show me all about it. Yannick is a professional climber living in the Haslital. He is mainly known for his great performances in ice climbing competitions all around the world. But today I will rely on him as an expert in more technical climbing. As he tells me, he has opened many routes in the Swiss mountains and climbed some iconic lines in Yosemite. This knowledge combined with his profession as a mountain guide makes him perfect for the role as my mentor. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> yeah. So that's a... Uh, picture about the nose uh, I guess yeah that's me on the top and then uh, my friend cleaned it and then he had to swing over here in the other crack system <laughs> and I do I do have to do that today <laughs> today no we, okay. we try we start easy, easy. Okay. as usual I'm getting scared by the perception of me swinging on the ropes hundreds of meters above the ground but as Yannick shows me some more pictures of his Yosemite trip, my fear is replaced by inspiration and the imagination of doing this myself one day. So as a first step for this journey, I have to know the gear. The entry of the gear room. Have a look. Beside of your normal multi-pitch gear, you need some special materials for a big wall. A rack of cams when there are no bolts, a static rope as a whole line, a pair of ascenders and a ladder for hauling, and a pulley. To pull all your gear over the wall, it's best to take a destruction-proof haul back. Last but not least, you need a portal ledge to build your camp, if you need more than one day for the wall. Your whole weight in the, in the camp, so how do you know it will hold? Up. Do you need to test it first, or...? Before we head to our climbing spot, there is one more thing we want to see. Uh, the only room I don't have to clean up. Yeah, like in Europe, we, we, we aren't the best crack climbers, so I, I was thinking of I should prepare a little bit. So I built up a finger splitter here on the right and on the left, and this overhanging uh, hand jam here. Um. <laughs> So we have heard a lot about big wall climbing and now I'm super psyched to just check it out in the field. Finally, we are ready to start climbing. Yannick is going to take the lead and I will follow with my ascenders. As soon as Yannick reaches the top, he will lock the climbing rope so I can use it as an ascension line. This means that I'm not climbing on the rock, but the route would have been too hard for me anyways. 
The whole bag and portalage stay on the ground for the moment, and I will pull them up as soon as I reach the top. So what's gonna happen now? So I will follow on the Dreamars um, with two Dreamars on the rope and I will take out every um, fixing point. So right now it's a lot of bolts, but I have to take out one cam he set in the crack. And you know how to two more? Yeah, Yannick told me before and now I'm gonna test it out. Now the yellow rope is fixed and I have to go up with um, my two Dreamars which are attached with daisy chains to my harness. So I have um, the first one which is uh, quite close to me. And then the second one is important that it's like one arm's length away from my body so I can still reach it um, to go upwards. And then in the lower part, I also put in the ladder so I can walk up with it like this. Very bouncy. So in theory, this sounds quite easy. But as soon as I start, I realize that it's not just clip in and go. The lengths of the two daisy chains need to be chosen correctly and it seems that mine are not. Whenever I try to fully stand up, the lower drum arm pulls me down again so I cannot really work efficiently. I had to figure it out with the arms, so um, one arm is on the top one and then I can stand up like this, pull it higher and then I can stand up again and go with the first one. If this distance is too, slow, um, too short, then I cannot get the the humor up to the top. Also, I realized that it feels very uncomfortable when you just hang on two jumars, which can be opened with a snap of your thumb. But as it should be impossible to open them both at once, I just hold back my fear and try not to look like a tourist. After all, there are two cameras pointing on me. <laughs> now it's better. Okay, now it's the first time I really feel safe. What did you think about my performance? Yeah, it was okay, but um, you stepped in the in the tumor when uh, during you had to pull it up. <laughs> I mean, that's not enough for the nose, <laughs> for sure. Mm -hmm. Well, that feedback was honest. But what did I expect? So maybe it's best to let Yannick demonstrate again. So now I introduce you uh, how to chuckle uh, in, a, in a wall that's like not, not vertical. So I have here two daisy chains for uh, each chuckle, yeah, one daisy chain for each chuckle. So I clip it in here, first the lower one. Going into my foot sling, and then I can already push a bit. Huh? So now Yannick is now using I'm a slightly different technique. Instead of taking one ladder, he uses two, one for each foot. This allows him to walk up the wall in minutes and this much more efficiently. Anyhow, he tells me that his technique only works well if the wall is not overhanging. In that case, you'd rather go for the one ladder approach. Hey, Yannick, thank you very much. Thank I learned too. a lot and now I... And that's it for today. This video was the first episode of a three-part mini-series about how to big wall. Next time, I'm going to learn about hauling and I will spend my very first night in a portal edge. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that next part. If you liked the video, then please give us a like and share your thoughts in the comments. So the girls stay at the yard she found All the things you have to know about life What it did to start a brother Singing songs